Backup plan was to marry Rich, but who's gonna put up with me? <laughs> are there any rules to country music? It depends on who you ask. To me, yes, there are. I think there's some things that are sacred, like the songwriting. I think it all starts with a great song. If you don't have a song with a little meaning and substance to it, then, then you've lost your listener and it might stick for a little while, but I don't think it'll stay long. This has been a childhood fantasy of mine. We are in the home of Patsy Cline. This is her dream home that she built and bought in 61. And she is one of my number one influences of all time. She called everybody Hoss. I still do. And the first cassette tape that I ever owned was Patsy Cline. But this woman taught me how to sing. These are cassette tapes, kids. I know that I'm sitting beside her in the choir when I get to heaven. I'm gonna leap right between her and Aretha Franklin. <laughs> the songs we're doing today, I'm so excited. The first one we're gonna do is actually one of mine show openers, but it's the focus track from the half record that we just put out. It's called You're Gonna Love Me. If you hate driving through Atlanta any time of day If you stand up for freedom kneel sometimes when you pray If your accent gets thicker after cocktail number three If that's you You're gonna love me if you think Eastwood and Sam Elliott still got it going on And Alan Jackson should have kept that blonde hair long If I say play Chattahoochee and you don't disagree If that's you, you're gonna love me But you spoke one when you drank, you don't know it yet. But you're gonna love me. Kelly just fits me. It's sexy and feminine, and Jimmy Page talks about holding a guitar uh, like you're caressing a woman. You know, it's there's just something about the touch and 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 the approach. It's got three pickups in it, kind of like a Strat, so it's a little more uh, honky tonk, raunchy. To describe the sound, woo! Depends on who's playing it. It's warm and fuzzy and kind of a. <laughs> I reckon howl like a cat too. I love it. Jeremy Spillman and I write together a lot uh, with Steve Mokler. So the three of us wrote this song. It's called If My Life Was a Country Song. And I'll probably cry because I'm playing it here, man. But it's about my childhood growing up. Anyway, and dreaming about this kind of stuff. So 
I'm excited to play it. <laughs> Sorry to cry, but I know it looks good on camera. <laughs> My life was a country song. The first verse would be about home. Be a neon rainbow, a red sea tin, and something that rhymes with tractor. It'd be a lab named Dixie on the porch, thumping her tail on the two and four. Just happy we got home safe, cause in the end, that's all that matters. If my life was a country song, it sound like 1991 With a fiddle and a steel To let you know the way I feel It'd be a young comeback And don't stay on too long If my life was a country song second verse be sitting in the back row of my church and some of it wouldn't be fit to sing on a sunday morning there'd be a couple of boys that didn't work out maybe one or two i'm still thinking about that might break your heart but you can turn it up i hope you turn it up like To let you know the way I feel And be a young comeback And don't stay on too long If my life was a country song If my life was a country song It sounds Music come back and don't stay gone too long. If my life was a country song, if my life was a country song, Cooking has always been like therapeutic for me. So when quarantine happened, I decided to try out my stand by your pan idea. It's like a comedy infused, country music infused cooking series. And I tried it on that new TikTok app and lo and behold, it took off. Who knew? I can't believe I'm cooking in Patsy's kitchen. We're doing some of my barbecue ribs in the oven and rub them down with my bodacious barbecue rub. I tell you what's in it, but I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Kneel sometimes when you pray. Happy your accent. My life is a balance between fender and a frying pan. <laughs> I'm gonna put these in the oven. Oh, honey hush. Look at that. I gotta try one just to make sure it's safe for my guest. Mm. Never trust a skinny cook. And then the third song we're gonna do, the tree just talks about my love for country music and music that is rooted in country. I love commercial country music. I think there's some great stuff out there. And I have no issue with uh, like pop country. It's not for me, but uh, I think as long as a song is well written, which to me country music is traditionally well written, I, th then I think it's, you know, you've done your job. Uh, but it just talks about not branching out too far and, and not watering it down, and uh, I don't believe in watering it down. So, and it's got a stanky kind of beat to it, too. This song ain't for everybody, so here 
everybody that don't know Little seed got planted when a song got sung That a hillbilly blues man wrote Country music was born Like a tree in the dirt And it came up strong Down to earth It's all about the branch and now Burning up. That's six racks of ribs I fixed today. Five pounds of potato salad and some other stuff. Got some buddies coming over. They're big eaters. Met them on the road with Skinner. Hey, y'all hungry? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. a little bit longer to get things off of the ground, but I'm, I'm glad that I waited and I'm glad that I stayed true to who I was because uh, now I'm in my own lane. You're gonna love me.